going on guys? We are out here in Algonquin Park. It's April 20th. Can't believe there's still snow up here right now. We left Toronto this morning not knowing where we were going to camp this weekend. We just packed the car. We knew we wanted to use our sleds. Tosser was looking at maps the entire drive up trying to find places where we could go. We were just making phone calls to see what ice conditions were like. It's too late in the year now to, to trust the ice, so we're going to try to stay off that as much as possible. So we've decided to go to Algonquin. We're doing the Western Uplands Trail, and we're going to just hike along the Western Uplands Trail until we find a nice spot to, uh, to set up for the night. And uh, we're out here for two nights, so it's going to be a good trip. Let's go. We're going to try to make our way up this way to Guskawa Lake and try to find somewhere in this area that we're able to camp. Should be good. The spring thaw is among us. <sighs> Little water cave. I think we're just around here, around here, or we just walked up this ridge line right here, and now we just have to go down, and that's that should be it. What are you thinking? Yeah, it's hard to say, eh? Because like you have to think we went. It's either we went up this, and we still have to go up this, or we just did this. Yeah. Make a pretty good time so far. So we figured out that one of our sleds was heavier than the other. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I was just out of shape. <laughs> this one definitely weighs a little bit more than that one there. So we've been trying to swap it up, taking turns on the hills, keep the legs fresh, even though I think they're both getting pretty tired. Man, I'm just like hoping that this trail just curves to the left, meanders our way right to the lake. Oh man, wouldn't that be something? It would be something. I think we just found the lake. We made it! I wish I could remember what that lake was called. <laughs> oh, it started with a G. Yeah, we're at the G Lake. <laughs> G Lake. It would be awesome if we knew how thick that ice was there. It's like, how are we gonna cross right now? Yeah. Yeah, there's no way this isn't home, man. This is home, eh? I feel like home. You know when you just, you get, you just, you, <laughs> you get that homey feeling. Yeah. This might be our home for the night. I don't think beer has ever tasted so sweet. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Cheers, man. That was quite the haul in to this G Lake that we're on right now. We should probably find out the name. I said it once and it was just like, it was even tough just looking at it. Gascua. Gascua? Gascua Lake. Gascua. Gascua Lake.
Oh man, we got another beautiful day out here. Oh yeah. Look at this. There's definitely a lot of signs of spring out here. Like it's so nice, so warm. What do you think it is right now? It's gotta be a couple degrees. Yeah. A couple degrees at least. Four. Four, four degrees. Four. Definitely showing signs of spring, but it's just like, there's still so much snow. That recent snow dumping that we got just like added another like two feet of snow basically. It's crazy. So today we're gonna try to get from our current lake, Guskawa Lake, and we're gonna try to make our way across the lake and into Minnow Lake. We're gonna try to like explore this whole area out. Lunch looks right good right there. Yeah, like a good lunch oh. spot. That'd be awesome. Yeah, so we're gonna go check that out. So we just found the perfect piece of wood over here, completely dry. And we're not even like an hour into our hike yet today. So we're thinking we're just gonna leave the sled here because the whole reason that we brought the sled was so that we could load the wood into it. We're thinking we just leave it here now and uh, we'll grab this wood on our way back like after our hike. So it should be pretty good. Money. A lot of the hard work done. Now it's just time for fun. I know, we just get to have a lot of fun. Look at this. Look at this magic video. No. It's pretty clear that this is where the creek is. Making its way through this like probably normally a marshy area here with like a bit of a current going through it but you can see that this is the place that is melting first still like three feet of ice and snow still so much yeah yes spring's coming but it's not here yet put away those paddles put the paddles away <laughs> that should be like the whole theme of this trip like That's hashtag the put the paddles away <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so making our way from our lake to Minnow Lake, we've just been following this creek which is right in the valley, so like we've barely had any hills to climb and we're just the only real hill we'll have to climb is like it's all downhill to the water right now. Chilling in the valley. Whoop, whoop. Cheers. Cheers. Man. And Creamore is one of my favorite beers to begin with, but like in the winter, I don't know what it is about the Creamore. It's, it's good, like, right? oh my god. Go stab me a slice of that? Yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Do you care? No. We're in the, we're in the wilderness. I, oh I man, that's really good. I, pre I prefer to eat off the ground. It's more you just don't even think about it. <laughs> I know. So it was the best to just clean knives. Just snow? Yeah. You just dip it in there and it's just like a blank, like rubs everything off and it's perfectly clean. Minnow Lake made for a nice spot for lunch today. Now we're just gonna pack up, head back, try to find some wood along the way. We got ourselves an absolutely beautiful afternoon here. Time for break. Huh. 
Nice. Got a good wood stash, baby! You want this one? I don't know, what do you think? Probably have enough here, eh? I think so. Starting to get everything packed. Getting ready to head home. Not before we have another coffee though. How'd you sleep last night? Oh man, slept like a baby. It was hot in here last night, eh? Yeah, could have been in shorts. Felt like summer camping. Yeah, it was crazy. Woke up a little cold this morning though. All right, we made it back to the parking lot. Oh yeah, baby. The hike today seemed much easier than on the way in. So I don't know if it was like, the snow conditions were a little bit more slushy, which I would have thought would have made it more difficult today, but. A lot more downhill. It was also a lot more downhill. So I think that was probably the main reason why it was easier, eh? We probably halved our time. You think we halved it? Like close to here. Shaved at least an hour off of our time on the way out. That's pretty crazy. Now we're just gonna head back after another successful trip out here. Algonquin was nice to us. I can't believe the weather we had. I know. That was insane. It was insane. April, end of April. It's this nice. It's crazy.